Hello, radiant beings. It's me, the iridescent goddess, Faith Melrose, and I'm here today because I'm going to be doing another Fenty face makeup. Yes, because I love Fenty and I live for Fenty and that's just what my life is. I also use Glossier, which I'll be showing you guys. So, I'm going to show you guys the products that I use. And you'll be able to see them all as I bring them up in discussion. Because, guys, sometimes you just find something that works and you stick with it. Right? So, the look I'm going for today is going to be like a 90s skater girl look. Because I'm going skating today. So, this should be fun. And I think I should look the part. What do you think? So, first thing I do when I do my makeup or anything with my face, I always want to have it pull the hair back. Now, I'm bald. I'm team bald girl. Um, but I like to throw a lace on every once in a while. Now that my hair is kind of pulled back, and it's kind of cute, I have to say. A little bow. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna first just start to prime the face. So first thing I like to use is the Glossier with a Stridex pad. And this is the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector. And it has all this acne treatment that really just goes above and beyond in my opinion. Um, and the Stridex pad, it has aloe in it. It's the sensitive skin one. So I feel like this, these two working in tandem, um, really make a difference for my skin. And um, I know it might seem strange to put like makeup on clean skin, um, but I use really good makeup, and my brushes are very clean. Um, I'm like very thorough about um, the, all the things that I put on my face, but. That's what I use to prime my face, honestly. I give it a nice, clean scrub to exfoliate it, and then I let it dry. Okay, so now that my face is dry, um, I don't actually put like any primer and like stuff on my face, really, because I have combination skin, like I've mentioned before which is super annoying. But the one thing I do have a problem with um, right here and sometimes right here is just the dryness and shine at the same time. So it's very strange. So what I do like to use is the Estee Lauder Vanishing Pore Stick. And it really just makes any pores that you have disappear. It will cure it. It just put it over the area. So I put it over you know, like the T-zone area. Like where most people would put like concealer and stuff. That's where I have like, so it just kind of makes the skin seem a bit more matte, you know? Um, it feels very hydrating without clogging my pores at the same time. So that's all I do honestly to prime my skin. I don't have to do much else after this. You know what I just realized? This is the length that my hair was when I was in high school. That's when my mom likes this piece. Okay, I get it now. It reminds her of when I was a little girl. So next, I'm going to use my Fenty foundation, which is in the number 420. 420, 420, 420. Um, it's the color neutral. That's really what it says. It's soft matte, long wear, neutral. Yep, that's me, Sweden. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand as I always do. And because I really wanna kinda cover up some features today because I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have a little friend here who is unwelcome. Um, I also want you to see that the little white spots that were up here, um, that's the Estee Lauder pore reducer um so as soon as you put the foundation on top of it, it just makes everything disappear so don't worry i'm gonna get that motherfucker with concealer i'm gonna get him don't worry so i just swishy 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 swish 
swish, 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 and then I go everywhere. That's what I do. I go everywhere. Because some people are like, Faith, we need you to explain it in more detail. We need you to go a little bit more in depth about how you put your makeup on. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to do it in like a voiceover because you feel like you want to crunch in the time. But sometimes you just need to be like, hey, this is how I do it. This is how the look is accomplished. You know, every moment is not a winner. Some things will be edited, don't worry. But, um... That's what I do. And, okay, so this is the important part, guys. The part that a lot of people forget. And I will never forget. Get your neck. There shall be no lines. Alright? And the reason why I use a round brush is because you can go like this after it is everywhere you want it to be. You see? So you can buff it out and it's not streaky. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing worse than having streaky makeup. Because people can see like, hmm, something about that doesn't look natural. And I like to go for a natural look. It's called the light work beat because you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to look light. It's for light workers. But our faces are beat. We don't have time to be wasting energy on other things because, you know, we're empaths. We're creatives. We just have a lot of bunch of energy that people want and that we need to feel like we need to share with people. So, you see, I've used up all the makeup that's on the back of my hand. It's not even blended in. Like, I've used it all up. So, um... Yeah, you see, that's all I needed for my face. I feel beautifully blended at the moment. So now, the first thing I do um, after this is I want to go over with <laughs> concealer because you're not going to get me pimples. You're not going to get me. It's not even pimples at this point. It's a like pimple scars because I have a bad habit of popping them. I know you're not supposed to. I do it anyway. Okay, so... For my concealer, I like to use the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the color Deep 40 because you can build it up and it's creamy. So you can just honestly apply it with your fingers. I don't like to apply it with any brushes or anything. I apply it to my problem areas, like right underneath my eyes. It's a very creamy solution. Um, it's lighter than my natural skin tone, which is what concealer is supposed to be. Lighter than your natural skin tone to cover... The imperfections, cover off the bags. There we go. You see, like, you would think that I have been sleeping so well and not falling asleep on my couch um, in front of the TV watching Rick and Morty, but that's exactly what I've been doing. You wouldn't be able to tell. That's why I love this as a... I like to use this foundation as a concealer because it gives it like a nice kind of dewy look, but not um, like a wet, like unfinished look. So then I also like to apply it to the areas that I'm just like, you're going to go bye-bye. Just go bye-bye. You see? You're just going to go bye-bye. Ooh, did I even have any problems over there? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't think so. And even if it's there faintly, it's fine. I have freckles. So it's going to look like th 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 like I like one of my other freckles. It's not even going to be a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are going to be like, oh, my God, Faith is just like, her Faith is so classic. <laughs> no, I, and some of them are scars. Some of them are, some, the majority of them are, are freckles, to be honest with you. Never had to, never had to draw them on or anything like that. Which I find really interesting that people do now, I have to say. I used to get teased about it when I was in school, and now people draw them on their faces. I think that's cute. Alright, so... I think... Yeah, I feel good with the way the concealer came out. Alright, oh, actually, one moment. You're supposed to put some underneath your brow... Because I'm going to do my brows. And I don't like to really put too much shine underneath my brow. But I like to at least, you know, 
make it a little bit brighter. And then I put some on the tops of my eyelids or wherever I'm going to really be trying to stick pigment. That's the big part. Like this helps the pigment stay where it's supposed to. This helps the pigment stay where it's supposed to. It's not like a glue, but it just gives it like a, a nice like, ooh, yes, I see you. I see you, yeah, mm-hmm. So now my face looks pretty, pretty darn neutral. Mm-hmm, yep. And me just being me, I still have to buff and blend a little bit because I legitimately can't with hard lines when it comes to makeup. Like, hard lines when it comes to makeup are is just like the enemy to me. Like, it should not look like you're a goddamn Barbie doll. You should look human. You should look like a human being that will one day decay and rot in the earth and be worm food like everybody else. Like, you know, like, it's okay to look human and have flaws. So I want my imperfections to not disappear, but to maybe be like, you know, maybe like a little bit less noticeable, but they're there, you know? My pimple's still there, like the little scar pimple is still there, but it's not like, it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable now, you know? That's my point. It shouldn't be something that you hide behind. It's a mask, but it's an illusion, but you should not be the one deceived. You feel me? Hmm. And now for my setting, because I have to set now. Now what to do for setting, I like to use the Wowder by Glossier. And it's this beautiful brown powder that you just, you know, use as a setting foundation. Like, after you've really made all the defined things that you want to do with your face, I just brush over it like a nice, beautiful dusting of it. And I love all the stuff by Glossier. Like, honestly, you're going to see everything I use is either by Glossier or Estee Lauder or Fenty. Like, those are the brands that I stick to because they are the ones that work. So when you really are just doing this, this is to set it. Um, I also have a setting spray, but I like to do this before I put any pigmentation on my face just to keep things neutral and a natural look. I don't like things to be too harsh. I like things to, like I say, be very blended. So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so now that my face is set, I'm going to use the Boy Brow by Glossier. And this is one of my tried and true, you know, go-to makeup products because it's super simple, it's very easy to use. Like I can give it to anybody and everybody can use it, it works very well. You just are easily brushing over your eyebrow and I have no eyebrows ever in my life so this just makes it like magically appear. Ooh, you see, in even little mistakes, like I said before, like a Bob Ross painting, not really even mistakes, you see? Like, bam. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty natural to me. Ooh. Okay. So, the next step is to move down the face. Ready? Okay. So, now that we're going to be moving down our face, let's get to the eyes, right? Oh. So, I'm going to be going for a simple gold eye today. So, I'm going to be using a lot of Maybelline. And then, also, I'm going to be using Youth Obsessed by my friend Barb. And her stuff is so great. Super pigmented. You're going to see just how poppin' all this stuff is really going to come together. All right. So, first, we just go over the lid. With the lightest color we got. Lid, 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 right? The lid, Patrick, the lid, 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 the lid. You got it. All right. Okay. And with the same one, because it's darker, be careful. Pat on the outside. Like on an angle, pat on the outside. And don't worry if it starts to look a little crazy. We will get through this together, all right? People always be like, oh my God, my makeup looks so crazy, I messed it up. I'm like, no, it's just a wider canvas that you've spread. 
That's all. So, I like to make my eyes super smoky, especially if I know I'm gonna do a cat eye, which I always do a cat eye, so I know I'm gonna do one. So, I like to do that. And I guess I will use some in between right here for the crease. Just to make it a little bit different right here in the crease. And I have another color for the crease here, which is a really nice kind of bronzy gold, which I think I will apply right here. With just a one straight line, okay? So I just really want it in that crease area. I don't want it anywhere else. So try to be as careful with that one as you can. You see? Just right in the crease. Even if it comes out a little bit, it's fine. Because don't forget, we're going to blend before we add the other pigmented color, which we're going to blend up. And you're going to see why it makes a difference. So with another round brush, you're just going to push, 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 push. Push, 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 yeah, you can see it's like gold, gold. So that's why I'm like, watch this magic. Nothing, everything. Nothing, everything. Big difference, huh? What I tell you. I'm also noticing how dry my lips are right now. And that's also why I wanted just a little bit in the crease. You see? There we go. Right in the lid. Okay. Got the other side. And I'm not going to do anything in the in like the the corner corner right here in my eye. And then a couple of the eyes glittering in gold. Do, 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 do. I'm going to use my Maybelline eyeliner. I use it every single time, guys. It's my favorite. It's the waterproof Maybelline Ultra Liner. That's what it is. That's what it does. So we're gonna go in with the cat eye. <laughs> meow meow. Cat eye. Okay, now that I catified both sides, I'm gonna use my Alme mascara, and it's the one that's supposed to help with growth of the hair follicles and stuff. And I think it helps because my my eyelashes have been getting compliments ever since I've started using it. To be honest with you, I either use this or just regular clear mascara. If I use a mascara at all. To be honest with you. Um, because I really don't wear makeup that often. But when I do, I like to play with it. Because makeup is fun. Or, I mean, at least I'm finding it to be fun now. Because, uh, like a lot of girls I know, it can be a bit tedious or a bit daunting, you know? Um, Especially now that we live in a world of comparisons, it's very difficult to be like, oh, I'm doing this. How am I doing this, you know, at all when people are so good at this? Um, you just have to learn and find what works for you. So that's what I did. And now my eyelashes are done.
Ooh. So what I'm going to do, okay, this is actually going to be a little bit of fun. <laughs> now we're going to use my Estee Lauder Beam Team Hydrate Glow and Hydrate Loom. It's this really great hydrating like paste kind of, but it's more like a highlighter cream. Um, it really just makes everything sparkle wherever you put it. And especially when you go over it with a highlighter later. So I just go da 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 right you know on my cheeks da 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 but not really on my cheeks but like more on like the line of my cheekbone. You know, that's more what I do, like more the line of my cheekbone. Um I don't even put it in the three, I just go like swishy 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 swish swish swishy swish and swishy swishy. Yeah. That's what I do. I go just go swishy 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 swish. Mm -hmm. So swishy swishy swish. So that's what you guys really wanted. You wanted to see me do my makeup, and this is what it is. Swishy swishy swish. So I put some there. And to be honest with you, because I don't really want to put anything else underneath my eyebrows, I'm just going to put a little bit of glow there, and that's it. Like, that's all the glow I'm going to put underneath my eyebrows. Otherwise, I feel like it's just... I, I, I hate over-defined eyebrows. It just irks me to the bone. Okay, so now that I have my Estee Lauder on and it's completely set, I'm going to now get the, the Fenty. So, I'm going to use the Fenty highlighter and blushes, and I'm still madly just over the moon in love with these. So, for the pink one, which is actually in the color of Beach Bum, I'm going to be placing underneath. For the color of Beach Bum, I'm actually going to be placing right underneath my eyes. Because if you place something that's a little bit peachy under your eyes... It gives like the effect of like um, blush a little bit and because I have such a round face this is like the perfect place for me to put it because otherwise it make my face look much rounder if I put it right on my cheeks yeah that's like perfect okay next for the Fenty I'm going to be using the blonde right at the line Of where the Estee Lauder was, like, and right where the line where the blush is, you see? So it actually creates, like, a glow. You're like, what, Faith, what are you doing? And then I'm just going to put one here and one here. And then one little down on my nose because, ooh, I like it to shine. I want to shine. I want to shine, baby. Yeah, this is what it's like when I do, when I do my makeup. I want to glow. And next, I'm going to be mixing Stardust and Confetti. And I really like these colors, but this is perfect for going skating at any time. So the Confetti is more of like a pinky blush, so I'm just going to roll it right onto the cheek like that. Just roll it right onto the cheek as if I were drawing. Right? And you see how it even just dazzled it a little bit. Now this is the Stardust. And I'm going to go right... Uh, this is right on top of where I put the SC Lauder to begin with, right guys? The Beam Team Moisturizer, right? So this is what I'm doing. I'm making these broad, like, strokes, right? So it looks like, whoa, like, Faith has got a lot of color going on. What's she doing? Don't worry about it. You see, all right? you see that glow already, though, boo? You see that glow already, though, boo? Mm. Come on. Come on. C come on. Now with the same brush that I used to do my foundation with, and this is key, you go over and just really light, light brushes. Just really light. And even maybe even patting, you know? It was really light. And not pressing, just buffing. Just buffing. You see? So it all blends into this beautiful kaleidoscope of light on your face. 
And it's important to zone that you have the foundation on because it's going to even out the tone of everything. Oh, but we're not done. <laughs> but we're not done, boo. We're not done. And because of me, I'm going to go over again with the wild air. Because I'm like, boo, you're shining. But, like, maybe that's, like, a bit too much shine sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I like to glow. But, like, boo, 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 boo. you got to make sure everything comes together and blends. Like, really? You're just going to be out here in the streets looking like a flashlight? Looking like a reflector. Hmm. Hmm. I'm blended and such in these streets. Not at all. So then we blend everything. We just blend it with this wilder. Because wow, baby, look at that powder. Look how set I am, right? So my face is completely set. But because I'm extra, we're going to go in with the Jose Miron. The Jose Marin. The Jose. We're just going to go over with this light over the big three, guys. You're going to see how it's just going to make your thing go like, pow. Right over it. Like, what? Like who? Mm. And then we just go over the cheekbone. After we go over the chin and the jawline. You see? Continuous motions. And then I go over here and then I stop at right over the eyebrow that's how I do it I go I go right over the eyebrow All right. and then I dust the nose and my chin and why not the cleavage because look at that yeah yeah that just did it, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, even the collarbones. I do get misty. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And now, so for the piece de resistance, I do my lips. So the first thing I'm going to use, I'm going to use the liners. And I know you're like, oh my god, Faith, it's not the 90s. But I'm like, I am going for a 90s look. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say I was going for a 90s right. look? And I have a very natural... Uh, lip line. So I just follow. The lip line. And forgive my dry ass lips because it's winter time in New York. Mm -mm -mm. And I just go all over. You see my little Marilyn Monroe that I just got? Like, I get more and more freckles as I get older. So, this wasn't here when I was a little kid, but now it is. Uh, I look like all of our moms. In those pictures, like, you know, when they were happy before they had us? That's what I look like. Okay, and um, these are just some basic as, you know, lip pencils that I got for super cheap because, you know, that's how I'm living right now. Uh, 
if I can get it on a budget and it works, I will. Um, but there's certain things like foundation that I won't. So, Fenty for life, do or die. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's color it all in. So I went dark on the outside and then pink on the inside. And this is for a reason. Because you're going to see in a second that my lip gloss is not just iridescent, but it's pink, gold, and iridescent. Ah, this is going to be so much fun. Okay, so as you can see, I applied the iridescent gold pink lip bomb and I am glowing totally feeling myself <laughs> as you can see by the smile and the floss <laughs> Ow. so I want you to be able to see the whole look and you got to finish it off with your favorite perfume mine is Coco Mademoiselle I love it it smells like heaven it smells like me wink and it smells delicious so I'm definitely feeling myself in this glow. So this is my Fenty Face Skater Girl look. And I think I totally, you know, <laughs> nailed it. Uh, tell me what you think. So check out my description box below and check out my goodies, my links, and all my social media. Also leave me some comments below. I'd love to see what you think if you like this look, any suggestions or anything. Also give my subscription button a giant kiss because I would totally appreciate all the love. And don't forget to floss like I obviously am, but to shine from every angle, like a diamond, like me, like you, as well.